Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video reviewing the Sienna Byron Bay nail polishes. And I am wearing them right now. And I've adored the color so much, but they've already started to chip on the second day of wearing them. So I wanted to do like a video of me putting the nail polish on and applying it and making like I guess evidence so you can see that I'm doing it properly if you know what I mean and then we'll review it each day after to see how long it lasts hopefully without shipping I didn't apply a base coat or a top coat with this because I was just like so excited to get it on because it just came in the mail so I'm hoping that's why that it's chipped but yeah I'm just gonna finish my face care routine I just got out of the shower and then we will jump right in Alrighty, how nice is this bathroom? Oh my god. I feel so lucky. Oh my god, like, look at this. Stunning. Anyway, I've got some new plants, so I'm just gonna show them to you. Over in that corner, we have Patricia, and she's beautiful. I got her today. Uh, this one's fake. And this one, I'm thinking, I'm thinking she's like a Charlotte, maybe? I'm still working on her name. And then there's little Harry over here. I love him. I went to the nursery today and I went absolutely ballistic. I think because like we're all in isolation and have nothing to do. So I'm now loving plants. So yeah, basically then I just removed all of the nail polish. Um, sorry, my name is the Alberts in the background. Why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? I love you. So yeah, but you're amazing. Um, so yeah, I just removed all of the old nail polish, which was Sienna by Byron Bay. I applied it yesterday and it was super, super chipped. So I wanted to like film the process with you of me doing it again <laughs> to make sure that I'm doing everything right and we will check in to see how it goes. So I love the packaging by the way. This is really cute. It came like this, wrapped in like, it was like hemp paper. I have no other way of describing it. It was like woven, beautiful paper in this really cute box. So I have the blue on, which I'm pretty sure is called what it goes. Um, and I'm going to try the white this time. Now that took me a really, really long time to get off my nails. So I feel like it should stay on there quite easily. I'm not sure why it chips so bad. Um, but yeah, last night or yesterday afternoon when I applied the blue, it was really, really thin, like really runny. And I had to apply two coats, like which is quite standard, on all of my nails. But on my thumbs, there were still streaks. So I applied three coats to my thumbs. So yeah, we're gonna be trying this color which is winter. I am quite sure, yeah, winter. Um, but today I'm going to apply a base coat and a top coat and I'm going to hope that it works a little better. So, I'll speed up the video of me applying it because that would be a very tedious thing to watch, like someone just painting, especially me, because I take so long to do it and I'm god awful. I'll show you, I'll show you at the end how terrible it is. I have to go around it with the concealer brush in um, nail polish remover. <laughs> to clean it up because I make such a mess. I get it like on the palms of my hands, literally everywhere. So, I think, I'm not sure what brand, oh, so this is just a Revlon base and top coat in one. I'm gonna apply this and then that and I'll see how it goes again and we will give you an update.
Alrighty, so I just, oh, you guys are super wobbly. Oh my God. Alright, so I just finished painting my nails and I am actually quite impressed with the colour. Like these went on really, really nicely and I really like the way they look. This middle finger, I'm hoping it will focus. I did an extra coat on because um, I chipped it and I think it looks a lot better with three coats. I'm not sure if you can see the difference. Probably not actually. But like there's still quite a few streaks, especially on this hand, which is why I don't really want to show you. Um, but yeah, I think it went on really nice. I'm still, like my hopes are still super high for this product. Like I said, I'm definitely not a nail artist. Like you can absolutely tell from watching this video, like that was, took me like a solid 10 minutes just to clean up around my cuticles. But yeah, I'm just gonna moisturize it now and Hopefully they will still be where they are right now in the morning and I will show you what they look like then. Hey guys, so it is day two. It is 24 hours since I applied the nail polish yesterday. It's holding up okay. It's holding up better than the first time I put this nail polish on, the blue colour. Um, so there is quite a bit of Chipping, so there's chipping on two fingers here, um, and it is quite streaky or weird. This nail almost looks like it's cracked. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's shocking footage. No, I don't know if you can. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks weird. Um, this hand isn't doing too badly. Got a little bit of chipping, but yeah, nowhere near as much as the first lot that we put on. So, it's still quite streaky. Um, I'm really not stoked about that. But all in all, it's not awful, but to be honest, I don't really have time to be applying nail polish every second day, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Not super stoked, but you yeah, know, it's okay. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. I wasn't doing anything strenuous today on my nails. I just did like some basic house cleaning and a bit of grocery shopping and study. So it's not like I had a crazy day doing lots of crazy things, you know what I mean? So hopefully it stays like this and doesn't get any worse by tomorrow, but I will see you then for another day. Hey guys, so it is two days after applying the nail polish and I'm pretty impressed. Like so far it hasn't chipped more than yesterday, which is a huge improvement from the first time that I wore this nail polish. It has got some funky, it's like the nail polish has really fine cracks through it. Um, I remember there was a trend a while ago when cracking nail polish was all the rage, but it doesn't look good. Like, there's bits of my foundation has gotten in there. I think it's got like a yellow tone under it. Unfortunately, with the GoPro I'm filming on, you can't pick up on that cracking. So I might take a photo of it and pop it in the URL. I mean, the thumbnail. So you know what I'm talking about. But um, apart from that, like the color has held up pretty well. I'm much happier with it this time around as opposed to last time. Uh, I've been in contact with Danielle, who I'm pretty sure owns this company. Sienna by Fire and Bay, and she actually linked me to some blog posts that she's written about how to make the nail polish last longer and reasons why it might not be lasting as long. So she's been super lovely to talk to. I've been communicating with her a little bit, um, and she's been super helpful, really kind. Um, and I might do a part two of this video with like following all the steps that she recommends. Um, so I'll have to obviously buy some more products like their cuticle oil and their nail polish remover and their top and base coat, maybe that will help it last longer. But yeah, overall today I am pretty happy. It has done me well, it's done me proud. Um, but yeah, even then I still do think, like it's hard to toss up. Would I rather a natural nail polish that only lasts 
like perfect for a day or would I rather buy one with heaps of chemicals in it that will last me for maybe three to five. It's a tough choice and I honestly don't know which I would rather at this point. I think it will take me following all of the steps that this brand recommends you do to get the most out of the nail polish for me to fully decide because having natural products means a lot to me. It's, I didn't realise how much of an impact it had on my health and on my body and now that I'm learning more about it, I'm just trying to change everything, like slowly change all the products I use and when I run out of something, I'll Google if there's a natural alternative before I go and buy it again. Um, so I'm really hoping that, yeah, that this nail polish will be my forever and always. But yes, I will keep you posted tomorrow and we'll see how it's looking for day three. Hello again. So today is day three and it's safe to say today is the final day that I'm going to be wearing this nail polish. It has been really good for the past three days. I've really enjoyed wearing it, but tonight, as I hope you'll be able to see with the GoPro footage, it's come to the end of its life and it's held up quite well but the chipping is just too much for me to handle and I know that you probably can't see it on the footage but there are like heaps and heaps and heaps of really thin cracks through the nail polish over the whole surface of all my nails um, and yeah, although it's been a lovely three days wearing it I just feel like it's at a point where it looks too dodgy for me to, I don't really want to go out with like half painted nails if you know what I mean. And my left hand is pretty good. Um, yeah, I know the footage won't pick it up, but hopefully with the photo on the thumbnail you'll see what I mean. So this hand's not too bad, but this hand is the one that's really getting me, so it's quite, quite chipped. And yeah, the lines are really quite obvious. It's such a shame you guys can't see them. But yeah, Sienna by Byron Babe has been like a real pleasure to experiment with. I have been in contact with the owner, Danielle, just via email. Just, you know, it started with me talking about my order and changing my order. And then we just had like a really lovely conversation. Cause she was such a nice girl. And basically I spoke to her about the chipping and the cracking. And she said she linked me to some of her blog posts, which are really in depth and really informative. So basically, how long nail polish lasts can depend on genetics and nail health and all these other things. And also to have like a really, to get the most out of your nail polish, she recommends you give a cuticle oil and wear before like their face and after coat, before and after coat. Um, base and top coat. Um, so yeah, I hopefully in the future will try those things and this nail polish will hopefully last me a lot longer when I do. But yeah, overall, um, I'd say this product for me right now is probably like a six out of 10, like pushing a seven because it is like much more natural than a normal nail polish, which is the reason I got it. And for that, it's like for that reason alone, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I like, I love the fact that it's natural, but comparing it to a toxic, nail polish, not that they're like literally toxic, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I would rate it a six. So normally with like a normal Sally hands, I could get about a full week wear. Um, so like a full seven days out of that nail polish. Three is pretty good. You know, I'm willing to buy this again based on the fact that it's natural and even though three days definitely isn't seven, that's worth it in my opinion to have something better for me on my skin and on my nails. And I really like, that's something that I really care about. So if you're in the same boat and you really care about what you put on your body, I would absolutely recommend this product. Like it is, it is lovely. It, it is a really nice product. It doesn't last as long, but like there are sacrifices that we're going to have to make to have natural products. They're just, you know, that's why they put chemicals in them in the first place is to make them like the best product they can be. So, yeah, Sienna by Byron Bay, thank you so much for the experience. And I hope that this video helped somebody else out there. And yeah, I'll see you next time.